It'd be easy to think that all pizzas are alike. I mean, they all kind of start with the same ingredients. Some dough, a little sauce, any topping you can possibly imagine. So, what makes a truly great pizza stand apart? It's the cheese. And if you've ever loved cheese on your pizza, chances are you have one family to thank for that. The Leprino family. And that story starts in Potenza, Italy. The year is 1914. 16-year-old Mike Leprino had a dream too big for his small town. He was about to take the biggest risk of his life. He left the old country. Bought a one-way ticket to Ellis Island. Somehow the now cashless young man worked his way west in pursuit of family and community to the mile-high city of Denver, Colorado, land of opportunity. And cows. Without an education or the ability to read or write English, he turned to the one thing he knew, hard work. He labored his way on farms and brickyards, constantly looking for ways to serve his newfound home. Mike's heart for community building set him on a journey to open a small grocery store, which sold fresh produce, dairy products, and Italian specialties, and eventually, his very own handcrafted cheese. Then 1958 came. With larger grocery stores taking over the area, the little Leprino market couldn't compete and ended up closing its doors. But as they say, one closed door only opens another. While Mike's son Jim was hanging out with some friends at a local pizzeria, his attention was fixed on one thing, the mozzarella. Jim rushed home to tell his father to put their future all in on pizza cheese. And down to his last $615, Mike listened to his son. He was going all in on mozzarella. The timing couldn't have been better. That same year, the first major pizza chains were opening up all over the country. Frozen pizzas were also gaining popularity. And just two years in business, Leprino Foods was delivering small batches of block mozzarella to local Italian restaurants. But Jim's keen eye was already focused on the next opportunity, even while the small business grew. Just like his father, had to get creative in order to meet the demands of a hungry neighborhood, 24-year-old Jim Leprino would have to assemble a team of experts in order to meet the demands of a pizza crazed nation. So, Leprino went from being a little shop delivering 200 pounds of cheese a week to using 6% of the nation's milk supply to create over 200,000 pounds of cheese every hour. That's billions of pounds of cheese created right here, each year. Having watched his father's work ethic, Jim learned the value of maintaining great business relationships by treating each customer like his only customer. A mission he continues to instill in his employees to this very day. It's how Jim was able to get America's very first major pizza chain to sign a contract with him on a napkin, no less, and maintain that relationship more than 50 years later. And how he signed 20-year contracts with California dairy farmers when at the time only daily contracts were issued, pioneering the profit-sharing model so that everybody won. With a lot of hard work and resourcefulness, the Leprino Foods family built a world-class mozzarella cheese company that would define the pizza industry around the globe. Leprino Foods became a place where they were not only known for their outstanding mozzarella, but where they would continue to push the limits of innovation every day. Like having the ingenuity to transform whey, a typically discarded dairy byproduct, into a highly valuable nutritional ingredient, which nourishes people around the world and ensures that nothing is wasted or how they took a typical four-week cheese processing time and reduced it down to just four hours, or invented QLC, quality locked cheese, where every individual piece of shredded cheese is flash frozen to stop the aging process and to preserve quality freshness naturally. Even more impressive, Leprino owns a vast majority of patents related to the pizza cheese making process. 
you've ever eaten at Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars, Papa John's, you've had cheese from Lupino Foods, at least in the U.S. They supply 85% of the pizza market's cheese, so for those pizza restaurants. And they're also a leading supplier globally of lactose and whey protein. But they've now announced that they are going to enter into a licensing partnership with Fooditive Group. Fooditive Group is a Netherlands-based precision fermentation cheese company founded in 2022. They're among a number of startups working on animal-free casein. They use proprietary E. coli strains to make casein through precision fermentation. Casein proteins make up 80% of the protein content found in milk, and they're considered the holy grail of milk protein structure. They're responsible for emulsification, preventing water and fat from separating, and giving cheeses their melty and stretchy properties. There are four types of casein in milk. Fooditive's technology can produce all four. Doing so is crucial to replicate the functional and nutritional properties found in traditional dairy casein, ensuring our products deliver the same high quality and performance that consumers and manufacturers expect. Fooditive CEO told Egg Funder News. Now, don't expect to start seeing this cheese in the next few months. They still need to go through regulatory process and actually start production. They're planning to do the regulatory work in Q4 this year. Their intent is to produce animal-free casein in volumes that exceed hundreds of thousands of tons over the coming years. We will begin to scale up in the tens of thousands of tons in the coming year and expand as the market demand dictates at one of our U.S. plant locations. Super interesting to see that one of the large cheese manufacturers in the U.S. is looking at precision fermentation cheese. Given their customer base, I would probably expect to see some of the fast food chains adopt it first. So we'll have to see how that all goes within the next couple of years. Thanks as always for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.